How's it going guys? Welcome to another Magic Arena video. Today we're just going to be doing a little bit of ranked play. Nothing too crazy, but we're going to be playing with the Jeskai Super Friends deck. We did a little bit of tweaking to it. Uh, we've added some uh, some different Planeswalkers, things like that. Nothing too crazy, but I figured we'd go ahead and do hopefully three games. We'll see how we do. Uh, but while we do this, I thought we would actually talk a little bit about Modern Horizons. Uh, obviously, spoiler season has officially begun. We've gotten quite a few uh, new spoilers out. And I kind of want to hear what your thoughts are on it, because um, a lot of the cards are really interesting. Uh, uh, Force of Negation was kind of the biggest at the beginning. It was one of the first uh, cards spoiled. And it's a really interesting one. Um, I don't know exactly how I feel about it. I feel like that whole cycle is really, really interesting. Uh, but they are a bit niche. I mean, even Force of Negation is definitely niche uh, in comparison to just Force of Will uh, because it doesn't hit everything. It's just non-creature spells. Uh, we are going to keep this hand, by the way. Um, <laughs> so, I don't know. I mean, it's just interesting. I just kind of wanted to see what your thoughts are on some of the spoilers, maybe hear what your favorite cards are. Um, I'm really, really stoked about the new Urza. Um <laughs> That's really cool. Uh, I did not expect them to put an Urza, uh, or the Urza, I should say, I guess, in this set. I think that's really awesome. Um, I don't really know uh, how... Like, he's definitely really, really good. I just don't know where he fits. Um, some people were talking about different combo decks, things like that, and that may be, very well be the case. Um, but we'll see, obviously. Um, there are a lot of really interesting things, though. Again, the entire... Uh, force cycle so far has been great. Uh, one thing that I'm really, really stoked about is the... Uh, let's go ahead and play Narset. Keep them off of draw. Um, something I'm honestly more excited about than anything is the uh, the new land cycle. Uh, they so eloquently called it the... Uh, what was it? The, the Canopy Lands. Uh, instead of the Horizon Lands, which I did see an article or a lot of people posting... Uh, that it was just kind of stupid that they didn't just call them the Horizon Lands. It's literally in the name of the set. Canopy makes sense, Horizon Canopy, I get it. But <clears throat> um, I don't know, it was just kind of interesting. Lots of really, really powerful things for sure. Uh, so I do kind of want to see how, how Modern's affected by this. So far, I don't know. I mean, there's definitely some really strong uh, arguments to be made that there's going to be a lot of changes, but I don't know for sure uh if we'll see that much right off the bat um okay well game one one uh that was really easy uh the gate stack's a bit slow and it looks like that's what they were running <coughs> um yes i am only silver tier two i actually went down i was silver tier one and then i went down for a bit so uh we're gonna do our best to actually pick back up a little bit um if we get fast enough through these games we'll maybe go to a game four or five just depending on time uh, I do have somewhere to be tonight, but uh, I also wanted to mention, too, um, I'm going to be out of town. I think I mentioned this in the Citadel deck, the the one that I posted yesterday, I believe, um, that I am going to be out of town for a conference. I'm going to South Korea, uh, so any opinions on South Korea uh, that are maybe places I need to go or something like that? Uh, this is an interesting one. I guess we keep this because we do have two ops, but... Um, so any suggestions that you guys may have, I am more than open to. I'm going to go ahead and pay two life and then just pass. <coughs> At least makes them think maybe we have a shock. <laughs> uh, we'll go ahead and opt here. Uh, I do think we want that because we're going to be wanting to deal with a bunch of their creatures pretty quickly. Uh, Narset. We will go ahead and play Sulphur Falls. Uh, and pass. Um, but yeah, so I'm kind of interested to see. I'm going to be gone for a week. So uh, crack packs are already scheduled. They're done. Uh, my hope is that I can get uh, the, a couple of gameplays up and just schedule those out kind of periodically. That way you guys have a little more content. I do want to mention too, though, we are not going to be able to do a podcast episode. Uh, we kind of ran out of time. Unfortunately, Will uh, is busy every night this week, which kind of sucks. But I, unfortunately, am also busy pretty much every other night this week, too, so uh, it just didn't work out. Uh, do I want Sarkon? It's our win condition, which is definitely something we want, but uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and keep that on top. 
Um, we do have the Clarion to deal with their board if they start flooding out uh, with a bunch of creatures. Whew. That is powerful. That is super helpful. Okay, so I think what we will do, we can just play this and then bounce uh, the Lava Runner or whatever it is. Yeah. And then that way they can replay it and just swing in, but they're going to be using up their mana to do so. We also get a little bit further into our deck, which is exactly what we want. Um, another Teferi. Oh, that's fine, I guess. Uh, the beacon here is actually a great draw. It's going to save us a little bit of life. Oh, that feels real bad. Feels super, super bad. Um, so... I think here we are going to throw out Narset, um, gain a life. We'll go ahead and search. We get a spell pierce. And I think because we drew that, we'll throw out Glacier Fortress. Um, just so we can leave that up and not pay any life with uh, Shocklands. Um, so they can definitely kill Narset here. That's totally fine. Don't super care about that. But ideally, we're going to be able to yeah, get a three for one here next turn. Uh, which is exactly what we want. We are going to take two, uh, put us down to 10, but this turn we get to uh, Deafening Clarion, deal three damage to each creature. It's going to take every everything out, excuse me, and then we will throw a Sacred Foundry out. Next turn, probably Sarkoning, and then probably just making a dragon token. Um, the key with this deck is just to run them out of stuff, uh, which is obviously tricky sometimes, but we do the best we can. So we'll see if they have a follow-up play here. Nope. Good. I like that. Uh, yep, we'll go ahead Sarkon and then spit out a dragon token. Uh, just so we have something on board if they have a lava coil that gives them a target, but uh, I don't actually know Ooh, Do I want to take four? Not really That kind of sucks uh, I could have very easily left left well would have been a bit obvious, but <coughs> Excuse me um, Definitely hurts us pretty heavily there uh, we're going to have to do it tapped just because we can't really start paying a bunch of life now that they do have a bunch of cards in hand. Um, I would like to leave up Spell Pierce, but we can't, so. Oh, no, not good, not good. Not good at all. <laughs> do they just have a lightning strike or something? Yep, there it is. All right, well, game two done. Uh, unfortunately, not a win there, but we are one and one right now. Not too bad. Uh, we'll go ahead and jump into game three, but uh, yeah, so heading to Korea, don't really know, I mean, I'm going to be working most of the time, which kind of sucks, uh, but I've never been to Korea. I'm very interested to see culturally how things go there, because I don't really know what to expect, um, and then also just, you know, enjoy the, the, the potential for really good photography, which is kind of a hobby of mine, if you don't already know. Um, so I'm pretty excited about looking into it and seeing what I can find there. But we do get a day of rummaging around Seoul, uh, which should be a good time. This hand's definitely slow, but do we keep it? I mean, Teferi is great on turn three. Normally we can bounce whatever they do. Turn four we have Sahili. Normally you kind of want to do that in reverse order. It just kind of depends on what they've got. Uh, but we do have four lands. Ugh. I'm going to try it. We'll see what happens. Um, so yeah, uh, pretty excited about that. So if you have, if you happen to be, have ever been in Korea or you're from Korea, maybe, uh, feel free to, uh, leave suggestions down below. I'd be interested to know what, uh, what things I should be doing there. Um, interplanar beacon, great draw. It's going to hopefully keep us alive. If they're like mono blue, that is hundred percent the kind of draw that we're going to need. They are not Thought Erasure? No. Demir Spybug. Interesting. Uh, very, very interesting. Okay, well, we're going to throw out the beacon um, just to go ahead and get us uh, 
a little bit further along on the life gain trail. Uh, yeah, discovery. So it's going to come in for two. Next turn, we get to Teferi, probably just bounce the spy bug. Um, there's just no reason really not to, and then we'll gain a life back as well. Hopefully they don't have like drill bit here. Okay, they don't. Good. Um, I ran into a deck that ran drill bit, which I found very surprising. Um, it was green, black, and then just like hand destruction. Turned out to be pretty good. Uh, it worked very, very well against me at that time, uh, for sure. So we'll go ahead and bounce the spy bug. We will draw a card. We get shock. That's actually great. Uh, if they just replay the spy bug, we might be able to just shock it, depending on what they have left afterwards. Um, yep, that's totally cool. Okay. So here... Uh, first things first, we will go ahead and plus this up. This does mean they can't do incense and sorceries now because obviously Teferi's out, uh, which I love. Excuse me, they can't do incense this turn. So we'll place a Healy. We will go ahead and shock the spy bug, getting ourselves a token here. And then next turn, we're pretty well set up for a good Sarkon turn. Uh, we can swing in for ideally nine next turn. Um, okay. Thoughtbound Phant Phantasm. That is interesting. And disinformation campaign. So we're going to have to discard here. That's honestly fine. Um, we'll just ditch a Steam Vents. Doesn't really matter too much. We've got plenty of land. Uh, not at all the issue. Um, so I'll throw this out. Throw this. Gain a couple life, uh, plus up to fairy. Uh, we will make everything a four four, and then we'll go ahead and do this and target Sarkon. Ah, I always wondered how that would work. Oh, <laughs> dumb. Oh, that was so dumb. That was such a misplay. Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh, well, it happens. Oh, well. Um, That was really dumb. I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking it was just going to copy as a 4-4 creature, but obviously that is not the case. Um, So that kind of sucks, but we'll see what they do here. Okay. So we do have a bit of an out. Uh, We're just going to go ahead and plus this up here. One, two, three, four. So we can deal four this turn. Um, I think we do kind of just want to wait until we can actually like wholeheartedly deal with this. Uh, we just can't wait too long, obviously, because then uh, they can just straight up kill both of our planeswalkers. We will go ahead and pass here, though. Um, and we can obviously, now that we have uh, Teferi... Man, that was such a misplay. But now that we have Teferi, we can uh, do this on their turn as an instant if we would like. Mm, so we're going to have to here. Okay, so we'll do this. Uh, pay four. Hit Chillbringer, hit this, and we might as well just hit this. Uh, it doesn't really matter what that third side is targeting, but we do get another uh, servo token out of this. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and then they whiff, obviously, on the Thought Erasure, which is nice. But they are still going to be able to take out a Planeswalker here, which sucks. Uh, yep. That's fine. If you want to replay Disinformation Campaign, I really don't care that much. Is it possible we should have just bounced that with Teferi? Potentially. Uh, I don't really know. I guess it depends. Yeah, I guess they're going to take out Teferi. I don't know, actually. That might have been a better play. Um, regardless, I 100% misplayed this game. <laughs> um, but uh, we'll go ahead and discard Sacred Foundry. Um, and we'll see what we draw. Another land, unfortunately. That's not ideal. Um... We will go ahead and swing in with these. 
Just want to get them down as far as we possibly can. Oops, there we go. Uh, down to six. We do have a couple points of burn. I mean, we we have shock four shocks and then a lightning strike. Um, that's about it. Uh, but that in tandem with a couple servos could be all we need. Uh, just 100% depends. Um, thankfully with the interplanar beacons out, if we do draw a planeswalker, which is very likely with our deck, uh, ooh, that hurts, but, uh, that's going to keep us at least in the game for a little bit longer. Um, I can't believe that I whiffed on that, uh, that <laughs> Sarkon play. Uh, we'll go ahead and opt here. See what we get. We do not want another opt. Uh, we don't want that either. Um... We'll go ahead and play that out, though, and pass the turn. Uh, so we're going to be taking six here, which sucks. We, unfortunately, are just not having very good luck on our draws right now. Um, so we'll see what we get. Take six. Shock. Well, I'm going to hold on to it. Uh, if they make us discard, we'll just use it in response. <laughs> And they're going to end the game pretty quickly here if they don't. Okay. Surveil three, then return. Concoct. Interesting. For a while, I really wanted to make a um, reanimator deck uh, in standard, which I'm sure works pretty, like, you can definitely make it work. There's a lot of reanimation spells, but, um, and a lot of pretty good targets, to be honest, but, uh, I'm going to go ahead and shock the spy bug here. Uh, we want to keep their clock down as much as possible. Yep. Before it started gaining a bunch of counters, that's the best thing I think we could do there. So we've got like a turn to find an answer to this thing. Um, that's going to theoretically help us. We'll see. Gains us a couple life, if nothing else. Which does matter here. It gets us above 12, which means we've got an extra turn. Um, let's dig. What do we get? Ugh. Three lands in a Sahili. Man. Okay, we'll play out Sahili and then pass. Gain three more life. That's good. Um, I, that is what I love about this deck. Because you have so many Planeswalkers, it's just like... At the very least, if you can get a Planeswalker out, and especially if you've got some beacons, you've gained yourself a little bit of time. Um, it's very possible here that they kill, they attack the Narset. Um, because they are going to be wanting to draw cards, I assume. And the Sahili really doesn't do that much uh, right now. Oh, no. Okay, fair enough. Take down Sahili. I guess that's fair because they are at six, but like they're kind of locked out of drawing cards unless they've got a follow up answer, which is fine. Okay, that makes sense. So let's hope to draw something good here. <laughs> um, that way they can draw a card. Okay. Oh, that hurts. All right, so we got a pass. Unfortunately, this is a longer game. Um, first ones are pretty quick. Kind of surprised the first game they conceded so quickly. Um, I mean, maybe they just didn't have very much, but kind of strange. Yep, we take six. What do we get? Sarkon. Sarkon kind of helps. So not only do we gain three, but we get to spit out a token, which is at least going to keep the Thief of Sanity at bay. Um, I mean, they do have to be cautious of that. So we're going to spit out a 4-4. Four, four. Um, Spell Pierce really not going to be doing much in this game, I can't imagine. Oh, that hurts real bad. Oh no, that hurts so bad. Dream Eater is such a great card, I love that thing. Non-land 
permanent dependent controls. Yeah, that's going to take that out. So I think here we're just losing this game. Uh, they're going to be dealing 12 next turn. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and concede. Uh, they definitely have that one. And we'll jump into another game here. We've got a little bit of extra time. We'll give it one more maybe. Uh, but regardless, what are you all thinking of Modern Horizons so far? Uh, favorite cards. What is your favorite card? I really like the new Deranged Hermit, <laughs> just because it's literally Deranged Hermit, just with Vanishing. Um, the green-blue uh, snake, the like new Strix, is interesting. I don't know if it's good. I mean, you, it's certainly easy just to run snow-covered lands, so I guess it's fine in that regard, but, like, it's a turn two play and you need three snow-covered permanents, or snow permanents, or whatever, uh, to give it death touch, which is a bit strange, um, but I don't know. I mean, I guess it's okay. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this. Um, we'll turn one opt, most likely, depending on what we're up against. Uh, I didn't see if we were on the play or not, actually. That's fine. Okay, mono red, I'm guessing. Yep. That's fine. <laughs> Good. Okay, there we go. I was going to say, you're just kind of like sitting there. That's a little weird. Um, spell pierce. Uh, we'll pay two, and then we'll pass. Uh, depending on what they do, we might want to spell pierce, um, but most likely we're just going to opt. Yeah, we're just going to opt. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that now, though. Hoping to get, what, a Deafening Clarion, maybe? We do need lands. <sighs> Should I keep this on top? Yeah, probably. We just need lands. Um, can't do anything if we don't have them. Really need Deafening Clarion, though. Oh, that helps. Um, we're going to be taking a lot of life for this, but yeah, let's do this. And let's, let's throw Shock at the Steamkin, just so it doesn't get out of hand um, too early. We're dealing ourselves a lot of damage here, which I do not like. Uh, but we do have Spell Pierce up in case they run uh, something out, like a Risk Factor or something. <clears throat> Another Steamkin, sure. Literally anything we will Spell Pierce, I think, right? Like if it's just a burn spell, we'll Spell, we'll spell Pierce it. Swing in for one, that's fine. Ooh. Man, I hate that we're taking so much damage from shocks, but I feel like we kind of have to here. Um, I may be wrong to be doing all this damage to myself, but I just think that it's the best option. Uh, we will go ahead and sweep the board, just so they're not dealing extra damage to us. And then next turn, we plan to Teferi bounce whatever they play. Ooh, that's a bad one, though. Do not want to really bounce that. Yeah, this feels bad. They do only have two cards left, uh, but if they've got like a frenzy or something along those lines, then that's gonna be pretty bad. So we can't really bounce this because then that just means it comes in and kills everything. <laughs> um, but we do need to draw a card, so is it worth it? No, I don't think it is. We're gonna do this. We're gonna mock Amber. Um, I don't know if that's 100% correct, but if we do draw land next turn, we can deal with it with the, uh, with Jaya's Inferno. Shock. We're going to spell pierce this just so they have to pay the mana. Um, that's just going to keep them off of hopefully a follow-up play. Slowing them down. Uh, they are going to be able to take this out now, of course. But that did save us the damage, I suppose, so I'm kind of okay with it. Um, 
No plays. That kind of is not good, though. If we get a land, we can spit out a token, which is going to do us fairly well, I imagine. But if they've got any kind of just straight up burn, then I think we'd lose. Let's see. Ugh. Light up the stage. Do not like that. Yep. Yep, yep. It's going to take us down to five. So if we draw land, we have somewhat of a chance. Ah. Now we have no chance, right? Actually, no, we do have a chance here. Thanks to that, we do. Um, so we gain a life, we spit out a token. If they can't deal with the token, then we just block the Chain Whirler. Uh, but if they have any burn spell here, then they take it. Yep, yeah, okay. That is going to be it. All right, guys. Well, uh, unfortunately, not the best games there, but still pretty fun deck. Uh, I like the reworked version of this a little bit better. The Deafening Clarions are a big help. Uh, the Mox Amber is in here, and I've actually found it to be really, really good as well. Leaving up a Shock or a Spell Pierce or an Opt or something along those lines has been really, really helpful. Uh, please let me know what you guys are thinking about Modern Horizons so far. Uh, I would be really, really interested to know. But uh, I think with that, I'm going to get out of here. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. And as always, please make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of our awesome content. But with that, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next MTG Arena video.